Eldans is a Swedish word. It refers to the low-lying fog that rises and hangs in summer or autumn. Directly translated, it means elf dance or fairy dance, for it was once believed that the invisible folk danced along the meadows, and this was their mark on the world, fleeting, eerie, and glowing. Cancer, hello and welcome to your winter 2022-2023 shapeshift reading. We're looking at the shape you're shifting out of, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shapeshift looks and feels like this winter. I'm Andy of Unseen Hands Tarot, here with the Alvdanzen Tarot, created by Araminta, Timothy Bilek, and using AI technology to access the spirits and the lore of the Swedish elves, the Alvorna. So... If you follow my readings, you know that typically um, we get into it with a lot of other decks. It's like this huge conversation between decks. This season, we are letting the Elf Dunsen speak. The shapeshift for Cancer this winter. Okay, okay, that did want to come out. Let's look at this together. So we have the two of branches labeled here as seek. We have the five of cups, doubt. We have the ace of branches, action. Cancer, you are shifting into action, moving through doubt to take action on what it is that you seek. If we could put these in a sentence, that seems abundantly clear that there is a heavy, heavy presence of doubt. I'm seeing this figure that's sitting on the cup in the Five of Cups, um, tracing the rim of the cups, dancing around something, dancing around it in doubt, dancing around something because of doubt is perhaps um, showing us your emotional experience that is separating you from taking action on what you seek. The, or the thing that is separating you from what you seek is a lack of action due to heavy experience of doubt. You know, the two of branches is not just um, seeking like knowledge or seeking new worlds, it is an energy of seeking new bolder worlds and especially with the one and the two there is something here oh okay cool there's a boldness to the fire suit and since you are shifting out of seek and into action which is a step from the two backward to the one it's showing me that you are skipping a step you're missing the you're missing the action that is required to attain what you seek because you are steeped in doubt because your emotional experience is sort of like drowning out, maybe like an obvious action to take. And so it's sort of like you're stuck in this loop of seeking bold new experiences or a, a total shift in your life like I need to be in a new world almost you know like why I can see that my life could look completely different you know it's that kind of energy but yet here I am like circling the edge of it spinning myself in loops of doubt and it's like it's keeping you in this loop of 
Well, it's keeping you in a loop of doubt because you're not getting what you seek. Like there seems to be this chasm showing up between your experience that you are in versus the life or the experience that you seek. And it's almost like you're so steeped in doubt that you can't see the obvious action that you could take to move you towards what you seek. Like doubt is the thing that is the block. It's the thing that's in between in this shape shift spread. But, but perhaps this winter you have an opportunity to rearrange it to look more like this. I pull myself out of doubt when I stop circling the issue and I take action towards what I seek. You can see how the shapes in these cards are aligned with like an obvious, the imagery is there. When I take action, the book opens, the new book of my life or the chapter, the whole new world, the doorway opens up to what it is that I seek. But action is needed to create the opportunity. Staying here ain't gonna do it. And it's kind of cool because it sort of feels like these upward trajectories present in the in the wands, in the branches, in the fire suit are floating above you here in the five of cups. They are hovering, you know, it's like this experience is sort of it's around you. It's available. It's almost there. It's but it's like it's almost just out of reach because there's there's this bridge, which is action the action that lifts you up and out of self-pity, doubt, melancholy, focusing on the loss, a feeling of loss. It's like in this card, if you could look up and see it and then reach up and take it, take action. a whole new, like a whole new level would open up, a whole new world would open up, a whole new um, way of seeking the openings. Because this is what the Two of Wands is, you are seeking an opening. The opening comes through action. Through action, you discover the openings that have been here for you maybe this whole time or through action, you create new openings, you know, but staying in inaction in the emotional experience is not opening those doors. And beautifully cancer, there is a guardian here. Do you see that? There is this, there is someone at the gate an energy, a spirit, a guardian at the gate, almost like coaxing to you through the mist, calling to you. When you're ready to look up, when you're ready to step through, to take the step. But they're like, it's almost like they are guarding. I'm sort of now seeing this guardian here as this as this figure here standing at the threshold to this new world to this opening they will guard it for you until you are ready they'll it's like they're holding your place that's very sweet but there is a, a little bit of a sense of impatience with you here, an impatience with the emotional heavy, the heavy doubt. Okay, Cancer, so let's ask, I'm gonna pull out only the majors and then we're gonna ask which major is here for you this winter. Okay, I've got only the majors here. Let's see. Which spirit wishes to speak to Cancer? 
for this shape shift this winter. Yes, great. Ugh. This card was on the bottom of the deck when I first started the shuffle for your shape shift and it really felt like it wanted to speak. I'm so happy to see it here. So in the traditional um, tarot, this would be the position of the strength card in this deck. It's called, or this spirit made it known that it preferred the title lust. Let's read it. I am an intelligence of self-awareness, consciousness, sentience. Sentience that has evolved beyond the stage where it requires the company of others to survive. I have reached the stage where I can function alone. I am no longer part of a greater whole. Which is interesting because then Araminta, the creator of the deck, goes on to say about this spirit. Given the choice between two names, this spirit chose the title lust over the title strength. They are also not one spirit, but a congregation of spirits that speak as one. They speak in riddles like a sphinx and will not give a direct answer. They want you to engage. They want you to take action. They want you to engage. They enjoy the dance and the frustration. They are a hive mind of many spirits bound together by choice. They'll tempt you to lose yourself in thought and story. They don't care about you, they want to eat you. And yet, they have compassion for your plight. They are perhaps trolls. This is a spirit for self-sufficiency, inner strength, and unlocking strange magics. There's something really important here, Cancer. I am an intelligence of self-awareness. And it feels to me like there's something wanting, you know, this, here you are perhaps, Cancer, here you are in this space. And there is something very clear in all of the fire that's coming out in these other cards for you that wants you to wake up out of this, that feels like perhaps there is a lack of self-awareness like you're so in this doubt or this, um, you're so in your feels here about whatever this is that we are talking, speaking to this winter, that there's, you're not seeing yourself. You're not fully seeing or awakened to the lack of engagement that is happening here. Lust over strength indicates that this is not about you being this like solitary isolated pillar of strength like um oh the the more you know i can stay in this space or whatever like this you know like it's not this is not strength what you are being asked to shift into this winter is actually lust, you know? And by lust, I mean vitality, aliveness, engagement, choice. Someone that is thirsty for life, for experience, that's ready to take action on what they seek so that they can experience the full aliveness that is available to them as a human being while you are here on this planet. And yes, of course, the spectrum of experience is vast and this is this doubt and this fear is certainly part of it and this sort of like dancing around it, skirting the edge. Sure, that is part of the human experience, but something here is saying, wake up. Wake up to how good life can be if you let your desire lead the way. And when you let desire lead the way, you have to take action on it. It demands it, you know? They don't care about you, they want to eat you. That's what this is. That's that drive, that desire, that hunger. Where is your hunger, 
cancer. What are you hungry for? I like this because it's like, yeah, they have compassion for your plight, but ultimately they're here to wake you up, to engage you in the dance. Yes, self-sufficiency, yes, inner strength, but part of what that means is waking up to your action potential. That's how you prove your strength to yourself is when you take action and when you do it and you feel yourself engaged in the world. That's self-sufficiency in this reading. And that unlocks strange magics, my friend. Opening doors through taking action on what it is you desire. So if this is resonating cancer so far and you wanna get into the rest of this with me, the shifting space is where you can do that. There's a link in the video description that will take you there. This is an online space for people who are resonating with these readings and who want to use them as a touch point for their own investigation into how they are shape shifting and changing and evolving over the course of the seasons. So there's a community space there where we chat with each other and we share our shift experiences. We connect with the astrology and how the, the cards are connecting to the astro as it's unfolding through the season. We meet, we pull cards, it's a supportive space for you to shapeshift. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, click that link in the description, head over there, and we'll get into this now. <laughs> 